Welcome to our video to show how software can run multiple cameras in Maxim DL across multiple computers. Here we have Maxim DL running on the computer. We can see it's configured to use the simulator camera, simulator guide camera and simulator filter wheel. The guiding is set up and an auto save sequence is set with 10 second exposures repeating a hundred times. We'd set up some dithering via the guider and the delay between the exposures is 10 seconds. We'll set the filter wheel to use the luminance filter. We'll now set up the simulated guide cam tracking a star. We can see Maxim tracking the star and sending guider corrections to the simulated guide camera. Back on the Expose tab, we can now start our auto save sequence. We can see the guider settle and a 10 second exposure start. After the end of the exposure, we can see Maxim download the frame from the simulator camera. We then see the 10 second wait, the guider settle period, and then the next exposure starts. We'll stop that now. Now we move to the second computer, also running MaxMDL, connected to a second camera. Again, the simulator camera and filter wheel, but no guider. This time, the autosave sequence is configured to simply take one frame. So we've got no dithering, no delay, 10 second exposure, and one repeat. Again we can set the filter to whichever filter we like. We will now save that sequence using the Maxim function to save that sequence as a sequence file. It's just called one.seq. So we'll OK all that. Now under here we have a small application running which is the camera slave program which is set up to use that sequence file. As you can see it's already started. This sequence file contains the instructions for to take one exposure. Now we have both computers on the screen at the same time. The master camera sync control is in the upper left. When we start the exposure on the top computer we see the guider settle and the first exposure start. Simultaneously, we see the exposure start on the second computer at the bottom. The two exposures end and the cameras download the frames. The computer at the bottom now stops, but the computer on the top is doing its post-exposure delay. It then waits for the guide to settle from the dither command. Once that is finished, a new exposure starts at the top and a new exposure is automatically started at the bottom. Again, the two exposures end at the same time and the top computer starts going through the wait and guide a dither routine again. And another exposure starts on both computers. We now have two networked computers running two copies of Maxim, running two cameras on two telescopes, all attached to the same telescope mount. This system allows multiple cameras to take synchronized exposures with dither. Now we bring in a third computer. Here we are VNCing to a laptop. It's also running Maxim DL and the slave software. On the third computer, I start the slave system running, waiting for commands. And on the master, we just tap in the IP address of the laptop. Let's 
just arranged the screen so we can see all three camera control panels and all three are taking an exposure. Look in the top right, you can see the master computer finish its exposure. It now waits during a post exposure delay. It then waits for the guider to settle and then it will start an exposure. Simultaneously, the two others will also start their own exposures. Don't forget, those two co other copies of Maxim are running on completely separate computers. So we now have three cameras with on three telescopes on the same telescope mount, all taking exposures controlled from one copy of Maxim, which allows us to dither the exposures significantly reducing the noise in the images.